गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट द एम्प्लॉज प्रोविडेंट फंड स्कीम वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय एन ऑर्डिनेंस इन नाइनटीन लेटर एन इनेक्टमेंट केम एंड इन द अर्ली स्टेजेस द स्कीम वॉज मेड एप्लीकेबल ओनली टू सिक्स सिलेक्टेड इंडस्ट्रीज विच वर सपोज टू हैव द कैपेसिटी टू पे नाउ ऑफ कोर्स मोर देन सिक्सटी इंडस्ट्रीज आर कवर्ड बाय द एम्प्लॉज प्रोविडेंट फंड स्कीम बट द एक्ट गिवस द एप्रोप्रिएट गवर्नमेंट सर्टेन पावर्स to exempt certain factories from the operation of the employees provident fund scheme thus the employees in a particular industry are governed by more than one provident fund scheme as is obvious frequent changes in the place of employment take place a worker who is today employed in an exempted factory may in due course join a factory where the employees provident fund scheme under the act is applicable then he faces a lot of difficulties in the transfer of his funds from the exempted scheme to the statutory scheme it is therefore time that the government did away with exemptions altogether then mr vice chairman the need for a comprehensive social security scheme is well accepted in the country the government of india some 10 years back appointed a working group headed by mr v k r menon director of the regional office of the ILO in new delhi that working group went around the country and produced a comprehensive scheme for social security and the recommendation was that the employees state insurance and the employees provident fund schemes should be merged into one social security scheme which would also be able to give workers unemployment benefits and old age pension it is more than 10 years since this report was submitted and though the government appears to have accepted the recommendation in principle nothing has been done in that matter that is probably due to the fact that a number of provident fund schemes are exempted from the operation of the statutory scheme how will the government merge these exempted schemes into the social security scheme so if the government are serious about merging the employees state insurance and the employees provident fund schemes it is time that they did away with exemptions it appears that the government of india have granted exemptions where under the law they had no power to do so that is a wrong trend and i must voice my protest against this then mr vice chairman the management of the employees provident fund by the trustees needs a great deal of improvement now under this scheme some 30 lakh workers contribute some of them contribute 6% of their meagre wages others contribute 8% the trustees are so callous that they do not see to it that all the deductions 
from the workers meager wages and deposited with the proper authorities in time the result is that lakhs and lakhs of rupees deducted from the workers wages as their contribution to the provident fund schemes are not deposited with the provident fund authorities or appropriate authorities the employers are allowed to convert the workers savings into their working capital it is the business of the administration it is the business of the trustees to see that every rupee deducted from the workers is deposited with the appropriate authorities within the time limit laid down under the rules what we find is that there are penal provisions but those penal provisions are not enforced and employers are allowed to convert workers savings into their capital that is highly undesirable it is also harmful to the workers because unless the money is deposited with the provident fund authorities workers accounts do not show the contributions deducted from them the result is that in some cases where the regional directors of the provident fund scheme are honest and straightforward they issue to the workers their account slips without showing the amount due from the employers the worker who has contributed hundreds of rupees finds that the account slips issued by the provident fund authorities show only a meager deposit in his name and he gets confused agitated and discontented and his hurt is not in the work because the money deducted from his wages for his old age is allowed to remain with the employers and the provident fund accounts do not give him credit for what sum where the regional directors and regional accounting officers are not so honest they do not issue account slips to workers for years together and the worker is kept in the dark about the size of his amount in his provident fund merely because the employer has not contributed the worker's share and his own share is with the provident fund authorities all this goes on but the provident fund authority or the government does not prosecute or does not send to jail the defaulting employers the provident fund scheme was introduced to give the worker a sense of security a sense of feeling that something is being collected for his old age and his children